morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having a great day. Recording my vlog today in the morning feels a little bit different. I am really happy I launched my second episode in my C programming class and I found out that all these expensive tools and stuff, I didn't pay for anything, but all these tools I was using that wanted me to buy their, their special license, whatever, XSplit and OBS is open source, but I gotta be honest with you, OBS never worked. It never worked once on my computer. All these things, right, I'm using all these tools. The simple trick to recording videos on my computer was Windows G. Yeah, there's an Xbox feature in Windows 10 that allows you to record your screen. So that's what I'm doing now. And everything's going great. So I'm really happy that I was able to put out that course. And if you, if you, you might not be interested in Z programming, but if you are, there's a video out there now. Um, and I'm separating vlog from programming. I've come to find out that not everyone who watches my vlog wants to hear about programming classes. So I'm done doing that. It's over. Um, so I guess, you know, today, my, my, my focus of this video today was the experience I had this morning trying to put together my C course, because this is something that I've realized that is super applicable to almost any situation in life is that if you maintain a level of consistency on a day-to-day -day basis, so if you're consistent every single day and you make small step towards a goal, it's gonna be pretty hard for you not to reach that goal within some certain quanta of time, okay? It could be five years, it could be 10 years. Depends on you, depends on how much you're doing and depends on how hard the goal is. But there's definitely a quanta of time. There's a, there's a measurement of time that is like set to do that. And um, you know, for me, <laughs> It's an embarrassing amount for how long it took me to actually figure out that Windows G was a screen recording feature on my computer. Yeah. So, but think about it. You could take that and you could apply it anywhere. Getting your house cleaned, you know, or eating healthy or working out. If you just would make a, if, if someone is trying to do that thing, if they're trying to diet, if they're trying to exercise, if they're trying to get organized, I would recommend that you just make really like small changes every single day and write them down and keep a written record of it. Maybe record a video. I will tell you, having a vlog keeps me incredibly accountable about the things that I do because I know that when I don't do it the next day, even though there's less than like probably one person watching this, there's a record of what I'm saying out there on the internet. Okay, like that's not something I'm keeping in my head. And I felt great telling, you know, people when they ask me like, you know, what time do you get up? I, yeah, I get up at 3 a.m. Cool. Like I felt great about that doing it. I felt great about telling people that, you know, when I was saying it because like that was something for me. I said, I'm gonna start getting up earlier and earlier and earlier and now I do it. But now the world knows that I do that. So. If I'm not up and doing my stuff, there's an extra accountability outside of myself that I have to maintain. And it like, I guess there were times where it seemed like it was hard, but now I, just, I don't even think about it. Now I'm like, I gotta get up and I gotta do that. I gotta record my vlog. I have to do the things I need to do in a day just because there's so much accountability outside of it. It's kind of like having a job. So if you treat whatever you're trying to do like a job, like you're paying yourself to get that thing done, that you have to make small steps towards doing every single day, right? Because you gotta get paid at, at your job. You're gonna make the steps you need to, you're gonna complete the steps that you need to complete, hopefully, <laughs> to get paid, right? So I would say that I encourage anyone who's just trying to make some sort of change, I'm not like trying to preach some Tony Robbins stuff here, okay? Just really basic things like, you want to get better guitar, practice 15 minutes a day for a year. If you can do that and you can't play a really, if you can't play an impressive number on a guitar after a year, then you tried it. What do you, like, what's the worst that you just tried? Okay, not a big deal. So that's my tidbit. And I, I might be echoing things that people always say. So I guess here is the real advice of how I would approach something like that. Number one to try to create some sort of like 
feeling of change, I would go do something very physical. I think that that in my life has always been a really motivating factor. It's like, man, I gotta get stuff done. Okay, I'm gonna go for a run. Like that's physically demanding. You come back and you feel accomplished. So you gotta get that like instant accomplishment. Go do something physically demanding. Number two, make a schedule. Please make a schedule. As a tutor, I tell my students every time that we end a lesson, make a schedule. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, well, and then they don't know that I do it, but the next lesson that we have, I ask them about the schedule. And more often than not, I tutor kids out of having a tutor because I get them to just make a schedule. I'm getting paid an exorbitant amount of money to help these young kids learn something. And for the most part, I do. You know, I really, I'm very, I'm very patient and I'm, I make sure that I, you know, I'm very knowledgeable in the fields that I tutor. So I tutor in physics, math, and chemistry, and I review those things on a daily basis. But I think that the real benefit of me as like the real benefit of my tutoring sessions for students really comes in that last 15 minutes when we talk about making a schedule. So number one, do something physically demanding. Number two, make an actual schedule, write your things down, get on Google calendar. You can make a Google calendar and put things in, in Google will tell you when you need to do them. That's so much more reliable than my head or your head. Google will tell you when to do it. So you can make a Google calendar. The other thing, I don't, I don't do it anymore, but I did do it for a year and I think that's what changed everything. Write down what you're going to do today. Could be at work, could be in your personal life, write down what you're gonna do. And date it and you're gonna be so proud when you fill up that notebook after a whole year of doing it that you're just gonna know what you gotta do on a daily basis. And now I make my Google Calendar and that pretty much governs everything I need to do. <sighs> when I go into work, you know, I just, I have notes of what I was supposed to do. So like now that's just a habit that I have. So I think, you know, my tips for like real practical things that actually worked for me was doing something physically demanding, making a schedule and writing down what I'm going to do in a day. Last and final piece of advice. When you wake up and you write down that schedule of things that you're going to do, write down three things that you're grateful for. You will be very surprised at what you're grateful for. I really was kind of surprised. I mean, there were days where I was just like, I'm grateful I have running water. And we take that for granted. And I think when you uh, observe that stuff and you're more aware of it, uh, you're more appreciative of your situation and you're going to make a willingness to, you know, change your situation because you now are like starting to appreciate these small things you have that you would, you are developing the mindset that you would be able to appreciate the things that you don't have. So like if it's financial independence, for example, when you start writing down all of the things that you're grateful for and you realize that like, wow if I could just have control of my weekend, I would be really grateful for that. You're going to start making an effort to change your financial situation. So number one, get physical. Number two, make a schedule. Number three, write down everything you're going to do for the day. And number four, write down some things that you're grateful for. That's it. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed the vlog here and, um, uh, you know, if you want to watch a program video, I put one up today. Have a wonderful Tuesday.